I think it's funny that this dude got swatted. He puts up uh, people's names and faces on a truck and goes around claiming that they're anti-Semitic people, defaming them. A SWAT team burst into a house in Florida after a 911 call claimed a man was holding his wife at gunpoint. In fact, it's a swatting prank, a total hoax. The homeowner, Adam Gillette, was targeted apparently in retaliation for his campaign to shame alleged anti-Semites at Ivy League schools. These incidents can end in deadly situations, and I'm very, very fortunate that neither my wife nor I were there. Who do you think is responsible for these swatting instances? It's clearly one of these anti-Semites who doesn't like the fact that we're exposing them to the world. Gillette has sent vans to Harvard. Just because you support Palestinian citizens doesn't mean you're anti-Semitic. Uh, there's a lot of Arab-speaking people that speak a Semitic language, which uh, Semitism is uh, refers to uh, the Semitic language. And if you speak it, if you speak the Semitic language, you're Semitic. And it's not just Jewish people who speak a Semitic language. Columbia and other top colleges with the faces of pro-Palestine student leaders emblazoned on the sides. Inside Edition cameras were there as these Columbia students tried to block the names on Gillette's van. Stop doxing students! Stop doxing students! The FBI is investigating death threats against Jewish students at Cornell University in upstate New York. The White House addressed the threats to Cornell students today. We can't stand by and stand silent in the face of hate. We must, without equivocation, denounce anti-Semitism. We must also, without equivocation, denounce Islamophobia. Ivanka Trump's husband, Jared Kushner, who is Jewish, is weighing in on the campus war. As an American Jew, you're safer in Saudi Arabia right now than you are on a college campus like Columbia University. Meanwhile, Right, that's wild because Jewish people are being killed on college campuses? No, I mean, you're still pretty safe. Hamas released a propaganda video showing three women hostages apparently recorded in captivity and under duress. One calls on Israel to swap the hostages for 6,000 Hamas prisoners, saying, release their prisoners, set us all free, now, now. <laughs> And look, video shocking the world and something you'd never expect to see in the year 2023. Hundreds of Russians storming an airport looking for Jewish passengers arriving on a flight from Tel Aviv. Authorities closed the airport and diverted all flights as the mob overran the terminal, which is located in a predominantly Muslim Russian region. In Gaza, the ground war is intensifying. The Israeli army released this video of columns of tanks crossing Gaza.